in nature, nothing is created and nothing is destroyed, but everything is transformed. This is vastly different from how we tend to think about our lives and products. Our modern reality, our version of nature, is highly linear, lacking transformation. For example, we begin with the raw material of a tree, transform it into a piece of paper, then crumble it up and dispose of the paper in a landfill. The process ends there. No further transformation after the user is done with it. Another aspect of this is that we tend to focus so much on that central aspect, the product's lifespan, especially how a user interacts with it. The sustainability is then put on the individual to create change, where the reality is there's so many other factors at play. Waste is most prominent at the beginning and end of a product's lifespan. What if we rethought the process from beginning to end, and what if we designed like nature? Instead of seeing things as creation and destruction, we saw them as a transformation and something that continues to progress as time goes on. When we look outside, we can see connection at so many different levels. The trees connect to their roots, which connect to the earth, and the earth communicates with what's called mycelium. Mycelium is the root structure undercutting mushrooms. It sits just under the ground, and it's not exactly a root structure, but it's their way of communicating and reproducing. If we were to look at a mushroom's life cycle, it would begin with this fruit that we see above the ground, essentially what we think of as the mushroom itself. This releases spores, which are almost like seeds. These seeds land on the ground and then grow from there, sprouting what will be called mycelium. This mycelium structure is used in many different applications today. It's being used as a substitute for bacon, as an alternative to cement construction, as a new way to create leather that requires no animal sacrifice. All of these different applications are possible with the same root structure that we see in mushrooms. There's a little town in southeast Pennsylvania that's known for one thing. They grow mushrooms. In fact, they grow so many mushrooms that they're actually producing over 50% of the mushrooms in all of America. This little town is called Kennett Square, Pennsylvania. And I think that this could be an excellent town to focus on for creating a product based in mycelium. This audience is already avid fans of mushrooms and mushroom products. They're aware of the growth process and are unafraid to explore. I actually grew up 10 minutes away from this mushroom capital of the world, and I'm very well familiar with these short mushroom houses that created so many of these products. The way that they grow the mushrooms in these houses isn't all that different from how we're currently growing mycelium for product development. And so I think that it can be an amazing hub for future development of mycelium. By designing with mycelium, we can address the beginning process and the end of the product's life in a new way by creating a cyclical product. All these products and applications are possible due to advancements in technology and the scientific understanding of the biomaterials at play. Biomaterials are essentially what we would think of as using nature to create new products. By working with cutting edge technology and designing with nature instead of from it, we can rethink how we design, returning to that cyclical system that we had before we created a linear one. There's so many more factors at play besides the beginning and end of a product's life cycle. As in, there's only so much that we can do as individuals to deal with this bigger issue. However, progress is still progress, and one step in the right direction is better than continuing in the wrong one. It's merely one step towards a better future, but I think if we can invest in that, we'll be better for it. Thank you.